Uh, hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to help you how to uh, present the velocity field in a 2D planner. You see even you have 3D or you have a 3D model you want to, to, to show the velocity for post processing, this is video for you. Alright, let's get started. First, for example, I have a um, uh, a solution a resource for post processing like that and I have for example I have a uh, alpha this is my simulation of two fast flows here is water here is the air and so I would like to for, you can use this method for any kind of uh, solution with velocity so I would like to present the velocity in this phase but first uh, I only have the the, the uh, variable at the center of the cell so I would like to use a filter to translate it to uh, to cell to point data first actually in a uh, open form the result in perform we no need to do this step but uh, in my simulation I need to filter this I need to use this step to convert the uh, variable to the uh, points uh, data and you see right now I have the point data and I have a velocity field and you see the magnitude of velocity uh, let me check for first velocity magnitudes you see and uh, so I would like to present this uh, you see I would like to 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 show the the velocity uh, field in here. So how to uh, how can I do that? Uh, first, uh, you need to go. You see here is the graph. Graph. You click one. And uh, here you to two D graph. And tie here arrow. You can do a uh, lot of uh, ties here, but uh, I try arrow. And the orientation uh, we should to velocity and scale we also should to velocity to making sure that uh, the, the length scale of the arrow is equivalent with the velocity magnitude. So where volume velocity here? All right, I have a uh, velocity. I have uh, anything and. Uh, you can choose something here, in, for example, model scale. Let me click zoom out. Uh, we have a velocity scale model, or, or something like that here. And we have, uh, this is quite important, maximum number of simple. Let me test. And I will close this. You see that uh, here is a velocity field, but it's quite low leads. And I need to increase the number of sample to make to see is better for example i increase it by uh, 100 times and you see it's quite look like much much better here is a velocity field and 2d velocity field and to to looking more convenient i will change the uh, background why background you can see uh, not only that, I can modify this uh, bars. You can go here and modify the, the, the temperature bar. For example, I change to the due to uh, my my background is why I should uh, choose uh, here to the red, and we can tie up the tie up the um, uh, capital, and we can choose whatever we want, and. Uh, this bit, if you want to, you know, setting more, more I mean, cost my more, you click here. And we have a auto uh, matic label format, but I don't want to use that format. I should use this format. Zero. Okay, click apply. And you see, velocity. even we can modify, we can modify the title and essential. Okay, click OK. Click here to rescale. Uh, it still look not really good, so I would copy my more. From here, I choose F. Click Apply. You see, 
it leads a bit better and I will increase this no. it not appear the, the scale I would like so I increase this click apply and I print it to apply okay you see now it look really look much much more better than the previous one even I can increase it more by choose this number it also true apply okay and you can see we and uh, I would like to also present uh, the, the you know the interface of the droplets you can see the interface the interface of the droplet here is a mess so how to can I do that I cre I created the contour contour with um, uh, the 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 either surface 0 0.5 for alpha you see and then I click OK and I don't see anything here but uh, we should to feature edge and you see there as maybe I can uh, increase it a little bit for more visualization I can increase the length y to two or to three three click enter you, you can see uh, yes now it look better and you can use this method for any kind of uh, post processing field you want and so one thing more I would like to increase this a little bit and click apply it's a little bit take time to increase the number of the velocity sample around here actually my uh, I am trying to to kill this this uh, on a VUF is is the current spurious currents or parasitic current. So my work right now is try to input new model which is kill all the spurious current which is non physical phenomena when we use uh, numerical scheme schema on that. So my work right now is try to 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 kill this velo uh, this velocity to making sure is the well balanced between inside and outside of the fluid you know all right okay i think i think it's better right now i we try to to you know to export a picture for example i would like to export a picture here i can choose the, um, where i can save the picture or less i will save it in the no in uh, this folder and then I will use this. I click one, for example. Click OK, and here we can choose the resolution. I will double the resolution, and I choose low compression. I click OK. Even uh, so, you can see. I will try to 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 to, to increase it a little bit. Little velocity is too small. It's take a little bit time to process. My computer is not really well. <laughs> you know. Maybe I can choose this velocity if I feel by I change the color. Maybe I choose X-ray apply for example. No, I don't want that. So I will change the the, the velocity here even by solid color. And I change it to red, uh, to to black. You see, it is much more visualized. Okay, so you can apply this method for any kind of the, um, any kind of uh, post processing file you want, and it's really <coughs> important. Uh, <coughs> when you try to you know post processing to, to the writing article, writing thesis, or etc. Okay, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoy this and I will next time I will make a more video on Palaview. Thank you.